Hey folks, Matt from MarriedToTheImage.com. We've got some interesting feedback on the video I did on Nikon Mirrorless, the new Nikon Mirrorless Pro camera being aimed at the Sony a7 III. That is what the rumors are. That's what is said to be happening, that Nikon is targeting the a7 III in their, presumably in their design and development of their new mirrorless as what they need to go after, kind of, I guess, the benchmark that they need to hit or surpass in order to be successful. And we've had a fair bit of interesting viewer feedback. Uh, Vicky Martinoff, YouTube username, um, her feedback um, really stuck out to me. Uh, listen to what Vicky has to say. If Nikon tries to compete with Sony and aims their mirrorless range at the A7, then they are finished. For a start, there is no way Nikon can compete with Sony at making electronic cameras. Churning out prosumer equipment by the tanker load is what Sony have been doing for a century, and nobody does it better except perhaps Panasonic. If I wanted a Sony A7, I would have bought one. What I want from Nikon is a high-end camera, and I'm prepared to pay top dollar for it. I want something close to the quality of my fantastic FM2N or my Leica T, which takes all my lovely Nikkor D primes with an adapter. High-end cameras don't compete. They make a statement and have the highest build and image quality. Hasselblad and Leica don't compete with anybody, and they sell, they sell all they make. There is a one-year waiting list for Leica M10 and Hasselblad X1D, and photographers are prepared to wait. This used to be true of Nikon. It's hard to believe Nikon was awesome once, but they were. I chose them over Leica in 1990, and now I choose Leica because, frankly, Nikon now makes nothing worth buying. It tries to compete with Canon and Sony, and users are switching fast and will continue to do so until Nikon once again makes high-end equipment. I would like to see them turn their back on Sony and Canon and be bold, design a new camera with few features, just pure controls, and a simple interface in a new metal body design for the 2020s, much as Leica has done with the SL. If it looks like a D850 or an A7, then they are finished. Interesting take here because I kind of thought when I had seen that information about Nikon targeting the a7 III that that was maybe a good way to go marketing-wise. Vicky, though, makes some good points here and almost kind of saying that they're just going to be following the pack if they do that and they need to jump to the front and make a distinguished product that doesn't compete against other things because it sits in its own niche. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is good strategy for Nikon to be targeting the A7 III as a benchmark for what it needs to be or surpass? Or do you think Vicky's got it right, that they need to do something, they need to go their own way and make something that sits alone in the marketplace, high-end stuff that maybe develop a waiting list for? You could argue this is exactly what Fuji has done. There's nothing really quite the same as Fuji, is there? Um, the Fuji stuff is wonderful in its own way. Some people don't like it. A lot of people love it, but it sells well, and Fuji's been doing very well lately. So perhaps Vicky has something here. Perhaps this is the way Nikon needs to go. I like her opening statement. If Nikon tries to compete with Sony and aims their mirrorless range at the A7, then they are finished. It's a pretty bold statement. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Vicky? Or do you think Nikon's doing the right thing if indeed they are targeting the A7 III uh, as what they need to be, you know, a benchmark to hit? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Uh, Vicky raises some very interesting points. I could see this being successful, but I'm not sure that that's what Nikon's trying to do at the moment. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Uh, thanks for your feedback, Vicky, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.